going on smart people today is Tuesday I'm starting the video after class because I knew I just had no time to lollygag on campus today I have way too much to get done the first thing on the agenda for today is to record my video I put out a poll and people voted that they wanted to see a video on the derivation of the Dirac equation so that is what I'm about to record and then as soon as I finish that I have to get to work on quantum field theory I have so much to get done before tomorrow it's gonna be a late night so let's get started now right now it is about it's about 11 o'clock so I have plenty of time today to finish all of my work I say plenty it's still gonna be a late night but I'm gonna get started now So I've been done with the video for a while and it's all recorded and edited and now I have been working on my quantum field theory homework for the past uh, six hours, six, seven hours. Uh, and I feel like I haven't really gotten anywhere. It's, we're, we're doing these like topological arguments connecting um, these path integrals to the Feynman diagrams and it's just, it's just new territory for me. So it's taken me a really long time to even learn how to try to solve the problem, let alone solve it correctly. So I, I think I'm starting to understand it a bit and understanding like how the combinatorics works. Um, but I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time after submitting the homework really making sure that I have this down because it's a lot harder than I thought. I guess maybe it's not hard, it's just, it's just really new. So I'm gonna get back to doing this homework. Hopefully I will finish tonight and don't have to wake up super early. Say good night. Say good night, Mama, don't be rude. Day two. Why didn't anyone tell me that quantum field theory was hard? Did you know this whole time? I have been up since a little bit before 5 a.m. trying to finish up this quantum field theory homework. I'm not even close to being done, by the way. So I spent probably around four and a half hours this morning working on it, probably around eight or so hours yesterday working on it, and sprinkled throughout the rest of the week another eight or so hours. So without a doubt, I have poured in at least 20 hours into this one homework assignment. There's two problems, and at this point, I am basically done with one of them. Now, I say two problems, but you know, it's that whole, but each one has a part. So problem one has parts A through E, and I'm pretty much done with all of those, except for part E, which I'm not too confident in, and I've barely started the second problem. The whole problem set is on the perturbative expansion and Feynman diagrams. So we're given like certain Lagrangians, and for the first problem, we're actually given what the Feynman diagram should be, and we're supposed to verify that given this generating functional, that corresponds to these Feynman diagrams. And uh, that's fine. The Feynman diagrams are actually relatively easy uh, to figure out, like what they what they look like. It took me a while to figure out that they're easy, but um, that's kind of the easy part. You take this generating functional, which is in terms of some exponentiated potential and an exponentiated term that's in terms of Green's functions and sources, and you expand these. So you expand these in a power series, and we're doing those to different orders. And then from those expansions, you can basically read off the Feynman rules and get your diagrams. The hard part for me has been the combinatorics, these little combinatoric factors that are attached to the Feynman diagrams because you have to make arguments for how many different ways you can attach legs to different propagators and sources and have loops. Are the diagrams going to be connected or disconnected? And those type of topological arguments I'm very unfamiliar with, which is making this pretty difficult for me. So it took a while, but I more or less cracked the code for that problem. One of the things that made it pretty difficult for me was, you know, I haven't had quantum field theory one, and in all of the literature, when you do the perturbative expansion, then it has this, this product of things, and it says, ah, and then you remember from QFT one, those correspond to these Feynman diagrams. I'm like, no, I don't remember that. So in doing this homework assignment, I've had to go revisit like quantization, canonical quantization approach to Feynman diagrams. Uh, so it's just been a learning curve all around. But as I said, I'm not done with the homework and unfortunately today I just have to turn in what I have and uh, my professor is the kind of person who I know and probably will just say, if you guys haven't finished, just get it in by the end of the week. And unfortunately, you know, I still have StatMech due this week and a StatMech midterm next week. So now I just have to move on. I have to start doing that now. So even if he were to give us an extension, I wouldn't be able to work on it anymore. So I sent my professor an email. I said, I'm turning in incomplete homework today. But in the process of solving all of these problems, you know, I've recognized the value of all of these problems. I've, I've learned so much with what I've been able to tackle so far. So I want to keep 
going at them, but I can't do it this week. So I'm going to turn in what I have and then independently, I'll just keep working on the other problems for myself just for the practice because they are, they're really hard, they're really long, but they're really, really good problems. It's definitely embarrassing to you know, broadcast to the internet forever that I didn't get my homework done and I'm turning in incomplete homework, but I try to be as transparent as possible with these videos and not just show the good things. So this is a case where I didn't get done what I needed to get done. But as I said, I have learned a shitload in doing this problem set so far, so I'm not gonna take that from myself and I'll hold myself accountable in getting the rest done while I can or when I can. But for now, I'm going to go to class. How is everyone doing on the stat mech homework? I haven't started it. Okay, Abhishek? I'm doing good. Just started done with the problem one and doing problem fourth. So what? It was one and three. What happened to two and three? I am just randomly selecting the <laughs> easy one so that I can be done with those, and then I will spend night with the difficult ones. Fair enough. What about you, Krishna? So I have done with problem number one, four and five. Mm -hmm. So technically, I have two problems remaining. Good luck with StatMech, guys. It's time for tutoring. One eternity later. After a long day, I finally get to go home, sit back, relax, and do my StatMech homework. Great. Hello. Yeah? All right, Mamao, I will give you $5 if you do my StatMech for me. What do you think? Asshole. This homework for stat mech is five questions and it's basically on two things. One, the grand, on grand, on grand canonical partition function, and the second is finding partition functions for different types of gases. For example, a two-dimensional monatomic classical ideal gas. Uh, one of the most annoying things in graduate problem solving homework sets is when you're supposed to do a Taylor series on something and there's no context clues that are like, oh, I should do a Taylor series on this, and then later on you find the solution, you're like, how was I supposed to know that? So I can really appreciate the times that it does give you the hint. For example, on one of it, it says, assume that T is much greater than H bar squared over MKD squared. That's classical, you're gonna need a Taylor series something, which I can, uh, don't make me guess. Don't make me, don't make me think. <laughs> I should also mention what happened after I turned in my incomplete homework today. So I told my professor, gave him the spiel, did number one, barely started number two. And long story short, he said not to worry about it. Go through number two in my own time because it's really important. And I like to think he knows I'll do it and it's not a big deal because he knows who I am as a student. Or it could be because of the fact that this homework was on scalar field theory, and if I don't know how to do this stuff for scalar field theory, there's no way in hell I'll be able to do it for things like QED. Or it could be because at this level of a class, there's something that's more important than the grade. It's if you don't understand it, now that's something that you can't apply to anything because you don't understand it. So there's tons of reasons, there's tons of incentive for me to go back and actually go through this problem in my own time. Um, Either way, I really appreciate how, how lenient he was. Not to mention, he spent like 20 minutes after class letting me basically tell him what I think I know and what I know I don't know about the homework and how I was solving the problems. So he cleared up so much confusion on how things like taking these variational derivatives with respect to sources and the Green's functions correspond to the actual topology of these diagrams that we draw out and then the combinatoric factors that arise from all of these different ways you can arrange the diagrams. It's just such a cathartic experience when you put that much time and work into solving a problem or studying something and then you have that moment Moment that like ah, okay I get it now that's that's probably the most addicting feeling in physics for me but enough chit chat time to go over para fermions what is that when you have like two or more fermions <laughs> I'm gonna fail stat mech is going surprisingly well I have one problem left out of five and I was getting a little bored with conventional letters so I started going Hebrew we go in Hebrew in here I do want to finish up strong though, so I'm probably going to call the video here for today, so I will see you tomorrow. I completely slept through my alarm this morning. This week is not my week. I basically overslept for class, so what I'm going to do is I still have some time before I have to go to tutoring, so I'm just going to go through the chapter that I guess we covered today in lecture, 
and take notes on that in the spare time that I have. And then I might pop by my professor's office if I have if I like have any questions, which I'm sure I will. Or I'll just bug the other grad students. And I guess I should probably turn in my homework. Krishna, mm -hmm. can I see your notes from StatMac? Yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. Krishna was nice enough to give me his notes for today since I overslept for class. So now I'm going to take those notes before tutoring, which is in a little less than an hour and a half. So I guess it's kind of just like doing that StatMet class now instead of earlier. That's not too bad. <sighs> my key broke and my car won't start. <laughs> I do not like this week. All right, Jake Ballers, I'm home now. I had to Uber home. My car's ignition wouldn't turn and me getting all super level 12 tensor boy aggro, I broke my key trying to get it to turn. So I called Volkswagen and uh, I was like, hey, can you fix my car? I, I guess I have to get it towed to Volkswagen. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I need some physics memes in my life right now. Right now I'm about to do the physics meme review. I'm gonna be sorting from the best of all time because I just need, I just need the cream of the, of the crop is the saying. I'm gonna go look at physics memes. The physics memes this week were actually pretty nice. It wasn't all just pi equals three and engineers approximate. So I'm about to edit this video now and then hopefully post it within the next few hours. Right now it's almost four o'clock. So these ones, it's about like a 15, 20 minute video, which means it'll probably be done Mm, if it's four, everything should probably be done by seven. I kind of hit that right on the money because right now it is 5.53 and the rendering time on this video is about an hour left. So yeah, should be done with everything by seven. Here's Cap. What are you doing, Memo? Oops. Oh. <laughs> Did you just headbutt the screen? It's day five. I've earned the trust of the other grad students. And today I make my attack. Kelly and I are about to go to class. We're getting there a little bit early because I have to call AAA or a towing company to tow my car. And I have to be there to give them the keys and stuff. And so I guess we're Ubering there. And then I just have lab today. So let's go to class and we'll go over what today's lab is. Cool. Good morning. Where's everybody? Alone in the office. Luckily, Kelly has AAA, so I didn't have to pay for an actual tow to the dealership. Uh, depending on what time AAA actually gets here to take my car, right now it's 9.10, I have lab at 10.30. I might not be able to do that whole, let me show you what I'm going through with this lab today, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so now it's just a waiting game for AAA to get here and take my car to get fixed so I can stop Ubering. Actually, they're gonna be here in like 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna go put my stuff in the lab now because it's hot as hell in this TA room. Bye car. Hopefully I'll get it back sometime. Sometime. Bye. Thanks for helping, Shory. Now that AAA is taking my car to the dealership, I can just focus on lab stuff for the day. And today they're doing Newton's second law. So they're doing free body diagrams, vector sum diagrams, and progressively more involved systems. So it's like your, your standard, here is an inclined plane and a box on it. What are all the forces acting on it? Draw the free body diagram. If I wanted to introduce another force that made the net force on the object zero, where would it have to be? So naturally you'd have like your, your weight force, your normal force, force of friction, where would a th another force have to be such that the net force is zero? And they're gonna do that for a bunch of different systems. So it shouldn't be too bad of a lab. I don't think it'll take the whole time, but if it does, that's fine. I'm not doing anything else. It's not like I have a car or anything. So see you guys after lab. Okay, I am home now, which means that my week is finally over more or less. Next week is gonna just be a lot of studying for this uh, statistical mechanics midterm. So that's something to look forward to. It's been a long week. I don't know how it's going to translate to to the vlog. I feel like I didn't vlog very much just because I had a lot of work to get done. But uh, I guess we'll see how it goes in the editing process. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I will see you. I will. I will. I will see you guys there. Say bye.